how often would I have to go in to get benefits? And is it all at once? Is it a brief burst? Is it once a week? There's a couple ways to answer that. The first I would just say simply, it's a time commitment. You know, if you do two or three sessions over the course of two or three years, or even two or three months, like, you'll just never get the benefit you're looking for. So if you really want some of the long-term benefits, you're gonna have to commit to some type of 20, 30 hour program. 20 or 30 hours over? Over the course of like, let's say two or three months. Okay, only 20 or 30, because Dr. Hartz was saying 40 well, hours. So 40 is kind of like the research okay. hallmark, but I would say most of these changes really start around session 15 or 16. Over what period of time? Over the month? course of like a month, month and a half. Okay, so, so basically- if you Double that, you can really set those in motion. There's two completely different pathways of hyperbaric. One is, it drives oxygen into the mitochondria, it creates more cellular energy, it upregulates your immune system function, and it lowers inflammation. Okay. So like oxygen as a molecule and a nutrient, it'll do that at every pressure, almost every session. But then it also acts as a, a cell signaling molecule and it changes the epigenome dramatically. Ooh. And that's a lot of what the research was about. And we saw that lower pressure affected the epigenome in one way, higher pressure affected the epigenome in another way. There was no overlap whatsoever. So wow. what mild pressure did to our epigenetics and what high pressure did to the epigenetics was completely individual to the pressure. So what that started to tell me was, listen, you could utilize hyperbaric on a regular basis. If you started to solve for mitochondrial issues and inflammatory issues, you're already making a huge dent in all of the chronic illness you know, variables. Incredible. But then if you exposed yourself to different pressures throughout the course, and you could do, you know, 1.3 at home, go to a clinic and do 10 sessions at 2.0, you know, it doesn't have to be and it shouldn't be the same pressure over and over again. We have to create a variety of pressure, the same way, you know, variety in your exercise, variety in your meditation, variety in your diet. Okay. It, there's variety in pressure, and especially from an epigenetic standpoint, that variety is critically important.